doing unfinished business, taking care of what they didn't do the previous season. Yeah, you're right, Kevin. There I think those teams that came very close to maybe winning the championship or being there, those are the guys that are hungry, and those are the organization they are chomping at the bit to start the season. Now here is Lowry. Softly drops in the floater. When you are Lowry size, you need to have a strong floater, and that was a beauty he just put up. Lowry against Conley. And Gobert kicks to Conley. Passes it to Bogdanovich. A three-pointer, no good. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Raptors. Pass to Siakam. And it's good for two. A good find by Kyle Lowry. Doesn't always get enough credit for his vision. Conley against Lowry. Gobert the pass to come. Mitchell with it. A three. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. You watch Mitchell's shot. The mechanics, the footwork, the elevation. All working in harmony. Back to Powell. Outside Lowry. Lets it go with a three. Bangs home the trifecta. Lowry's got five points so far. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That is his first foul of the game. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Conley against Lowry. Pass to Powell. Six on the shot clock. The dish to Ibaka. Lowry for three. That one doesn't drop. The Jazz go the other way with it. Last time they came together was in Toronto, where they fell to the Raptors. Yeah, they were just wrecked last time they faced this team, and a lot of it was their own undoing. It was a sizable loss, and it was mostly due to their awful passing and ball control. They just need to use better judgment in this game. Was there any steal in the 2017 draft bigger than Donovan Mitchell? My goodness, guys, Utah looks like they found a franchise player with him. I mean, to see a player his age come in and just be an elite scorer is impressive. Very explosive in transition, but also in the half court. Reminds you a bit of Westbrook or a young D. Wade with how he plays. Shooting two. First free throw is good. They may not get the spotlight, but the Utah Jazz are one of the best run teams in the NBA. Their run as a legacy trust. That means every dime of profit goes back into the team. And yeah, Mitchell drops them both. Steve, you were talking about the reinvestment for the Jazz. An upgraded arena. New practice facility. Necessary moves, you know this, to stay competitive. The Jazz fans love their team, and they're showing that commitment in return. Now, here is O'Neal. Following the miss by Pascal Siakam. Conley dishes to Gobert. Kicks to Mitchell. For the three, that's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Because he's so good at putting the ball on the floor and making plays, the three is going to be available to Donovan Mitchell. Siakam looking around. Over Gobert. And good. We got the English that time as it falls. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. And it's Norman Powell with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Conley against Lowry. 
and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Mike Conley is very crafty. He can bait a defender into getting a little too physical with him. Last season, Mike Conley became the Grizzlies' all-time leader in points scored. He was already first in assists, steals, and three-pointers. Shooting two. And that one falls for Conley. And Smitty, when it's all said and done, Mike Conley's jersey has to go in the Memphis ramp. Absolutely. Over a decade in a Grizzlies uniform, he helped lead them to the best years in franchise history. And Conley drops them both. He's an ultra-quick lefty with a great feel for how to run a team. Mike Conley is a tremendous asset for this franchise. Now, here's Siakam. 17 points for him last game against Golden State. And no one on defense could stay in front of him. He continually got pummeled and kept getting back to the strike. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Jazz. They trail by one. Out to the right wing. 